every tower in Balloon's Tower Defense has an ability. But if you're like me, you just forget to use them, or just never use them, or wait too long, because what if you do need them, and then you just, all the balloons leak out and you lose anyways, because you're too scared to use the ability? Ah, it's just a pain. So today, we're making all abilities automatic. And by that, I mean abilities are just going to be constant now but a little bit weaker. For example, with the Darling Gunner, it will now occasionally shoot a wave of Rocket Storm missiles. Or with Super Monkey Fan Club, up to three Dart Monkeys, including itself, are permanently Super Monkey fans. So we're gonna see how this actually changes the game and what really comes from it. Wait, what does Attack Shooter do? Shoots out a slow swirl of global higher pierce blades. Wait, so it's just constant blade maelstrom? That seems pretty broken. What is something that you want to just be constant, right? I think all the moneymaker ones are gonna be really good. Like, Druid just like periodically generates cash, right? Like, I think that's definitely just a good option to have there. Let's get some sharp shots and razor sharp shots so we can just pop all the balloons. No! Two red balloons getting by! Bike Factory, what is this? So it continuously shoots out a stream of spikes over the entire track. That seems really good. Like, that seems crazy. Let's just get very quick shots, too. And this guy's just gonna be destroying everything. We are gonna need to get a banana farm. Do we want IMF loan? Periodically gives you $10,000 that has to be paid back over time. I don't know if that's good or not. Because that's just constantly gonna get me in debt. Like, what if I don't want to go into debt? I don't have a choice about it. I feel like the bank is really bad for this upgrade. Right? If we make that, then the <laughs> we literally it just... That just makes no sense. Wait. How does Ninja Monkey work? Balloon Sabotage. All balloons move at partially reduced speed. Wait. So, Shinobi Tactics is just all the time now. Literally all the time, balloons are just gonna constantly be slower. All right, we definitely want Ninja Monkey then. That's really good. Wait, is that the same for Glue Gunner? How does that work? Glue Gunner. Glue Strike. Periodically glues all balloons on screen for a short duration, making them take increased damage. Also, I always forget that's what Glue Strike does. Glue Strike makes balloons take more damage. Glue Strike's a pretty good ability. I never get Glue Strike. If I'm getting a Glue Gunner, I'm either going bottom or top path. I think I have Crossbath on. I do! Oh, very nice. We are gonna need a lot of money in order to try out all of the different abilities and towers. I also want to try to get our Super Monkey Fan Club. Because apparently it makes every... Or it makes three of them permanently just super monkeys. I feel like the blade maelstrom right in the middle here is going to be really good. But wait, what does the beast do? So T-Rex occasionally stomps stunning balloons. So I mean, it's just like he'll just randomly just stomp. Like, I don't think that's... That's not that exciting. Wait, how does engineer work? So permanently boost based on tier one tower at a time. So does that mean he just like links to one tower and just like permanently boost? That's actually pretty cool. I approve of this. Let's put you here. And let's get Blade Shooter. I want to see, is it going to be bad or good? This is the main question, right? Is it going to just be bad? Would I rather just have the ability on this? All right, let's see. Whoa, that's actually pretty cool. So it's just one blade that just like constantly shoots out. That's not bad. It's not bad. I'm going to definitely want Super Maelstrom at some point. But it's constant. So it does... A decent amount. Now, does this uh, still shoot? That, right? If balloons come through us, is he still gonna shoot out blades? I don't know. Like, I wanna get the middle path Druid. Because I think it'll just make money for us constantly, right? Uh-oh, uh-oh. I guess I'll get... I guess we'll start working on the bomb shooter now. Alright, target strong. Nice. Okay, I'll get the Mo... So, frequently shoots out mini Moab assassin missiles at the strongest Moab ad screen. That's not bad, but... Let's get extra range on this guy and frag bombs. I really want the Shinobi. The Shinobi just seems so cool. All balloons move at partially reduced speed. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can notice it. Three, two, one, and... Hmm. I don't notice it a lot. So the Grand Saboteur, all balloons move at further reduced speed. I think that's where it's going to be a lot better. And Moab class balloons spawn with slightly reduced health. That's gonna be pretty nice. Uh-oh, we are gonna have to deal with a Moab, so I'm just gonna buy the Moab Assassin. When the Moab spawn, it says it shoots out mini Moab Assassin missiles. So I definitely wanna see what this guy's got in store for us. All right, let's see the mini, the mini. Oh my gosh, look, it does shoot out mini Moabs. It's pretty strong too. It just three shot him. That's not bad. Okay, let's see if we can notice the Grand Saboteur. Ready? And three, two, one. That is noticeable, actually. 
So the balloons all are now gonna just constantly move slower. Just a little bit. You can definitely notice it. They're all moving slightly slower. Periodically freezes all balloons on screen for one second. That's not bad. I'll get that. So how often does he use Snowstorm? Whoa! He uses it that often? That's crazy! That seems broken. Freeze, and they move slower be after being thawed out. That is crazy, actually. All right, let's get a glue gutter down. And let's go ahead and get glue. So glue splatter. Splatter glue across up to six. Yeah, and then glue strike. So it'll just periodically glue. And then I think we want probably glue soak. And then corrosive glue. There we go. So now he, they freeze and have... Look at how slow they are. That's... Okay, that seems a little OP. That seems pretty broken. And now we can get Super Maelstrom. Oh, cool! So Super Maelstrom just constantly has these spinning around. So that's going to be doing way more damage. So what happens if we get this guy, the Dartling Gunner, right? And Rocket Storm. So occasionally shoots a wave of Rocket Storm missiles. One, two. Okay, so it just randomly just shoots out Rocket Storms. Look at that. Your own, your own, your own. Not bad. Okay. So I guess, well, we'll also have focus firing. That seems pretty nice. And then laser shock. And then we just have that lock there. And then it'll just constantly th shoot a wave of rocket storms at it. Nice. So this guy, Super Monkey Fan Club, up to three nearby dart monkeys. So it's just always one, two, wait, what? Two, three. Wait, what? Okay. Wait, what is happening? They're like glitching. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I think I need to sell. I think it's only three. Okay, so it's three of them. Not bad. So up to six nearby dart monkeys, including yourself, are permanently plasma monkey fans. Okay, so six. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I guess seven? No, okay, so a total of six. So there we go. So they're all just permanent plasma monkey fan club. And then boomerang monkey, what is perma charge? Perma charge is permanently super fast attack speed and a moderate damage increase. I mean, that seems pretty reasonable. What does the village do? So bigger radius, jungle drums. Is this in the range of the village? It's not what? Okay, radar scanner. And then called arms, permanent weaker nearby attack speed. And then permanent global. So everything just has more attack speed now. Everything just permanent attack speed bonus. I think that's busted. We need to skip some rounds because we are just way too powerful right now. Let's just skip all the way up to round 80. Are we able to deal with something like round 80? It does freeze things. I don't know how well we can deal with DDTs though. Wait, I have to see the spike factory. How does the spike factory work? So does it just constantly put down Oh, so it just has crazy attack speed and throws spikes everywhere. And then carpet of spikes. It just throws spikes everywhere with crazy fast speed. That's not... I like that. Glue storm. Frequently glues all balloons. Absolute zero. So periodically freezes all balloons on screen for two seconds. Also globally buffs the attack speed of ice monkeys, which is very nice. L unfortunately, we don't really need any uh, ice monkeys. We can upgrade this to the Moab Eliminator. I'll put this guy here. And then I can get perma charge and long range rings. There we go. And so it, he's just going to have permanent increased attack speed, which is very nice. Look at how slow the DDDs move. They can't even move. All right. Elite Sniper. What does this do? I'm assuming you just constantly get drops, which is not bad. I should have gotten that. All right. Let's get us a, a druid. Wait, what? Oh, the druid's like on the water. Wait, that's weird. That's strange. But we're making, we got, we're making headway. We're growing vines up along the track. You can't really see the vines because of all the spikes on this guy. He's got 44,000 pops. Wait, we have so much money. We could just get the banana farm because what does the max banana farm do? So for when you're too big to fail, it just we just get $10,000. It just randomly, it just like constantly gives us $10,000. All right, we're on to military. So submarine, what do, what do we got here? So preemptive strike. So gains, so... Gains frequent first strike style missile attack. Okay. Wait, we've already beat round 100? What? Holy cow. Let's get Pirate Lord. So, hooks attacks. Hook attack is faster and can also pull. 
Oh! The Pirate Lord literally just turns into the Paragon version of it, Navark of the Seas, and just automatically pulls in things. It's at 100,000 pops already. Not bad. We can go ahead and get Sarbomba. Occasionally drops mini Sarbombs. So that's not bad. Heli Pilot. Let's see. Occasionally deploys a powerful special monkey. So it just like randomly just drops the monkey. Yeah, so there's the military, the marine monkey he dropped down. Nice. It's starting to get crazy up in here. Artillery battery. So main attacks upgrade to three barrels for extremely fast attacks. Oh, so it just always attacks fast. Main attack gains additional bonus damage to stun balloons. Occasionally causes mini pop and off effects on target. Nice. Oh my gosh, there's so much happening on the screen. Actually so much happening. <laughs> this is this is madness. What does this do? So, has a monstrous and two nearby monkeys are constantly transformed into monsters. And then it's just two monkeys nearby. One. Wait, what? Oh, he's... Look, they swap. They swap from the monsters to super monkeys. That is too funny. They just, like, all swap back and forth constantly. We got the village. Oh, in we have the engineer monkey. For the permanent buff. Ultra boost. So, permanent boost one tower at a time so i guess we'll just use i mean the anti-balloon gunner definitely the thing to do beast handler we need to get the beast handler moving now wait we want the beast handler over here though oh my gosh i can't even see what's happening all right we'll have him right there and then we need three wait i think we need six total beast handlers i i can't see what's happening he needs one more no so you need six total so you need seven total Okay, so this guy should be using his ability. That's all of them. That is all of our towers so far. Holy cow. This guy's got 2 million pops. How's our Sar Bomba doing? That's what I'm kind of curious about. This tower's made $30,000. This has made 30000 The money ones are amazing. The ones that just constantly... 500000 Look at our Ninja Monkey. These are all pops from the Moab spawning in a partially damaged state. That's amazing. Bomb Shooter. Oh, wait. We can upgrade this to the MAD. Now it has the constant, like, stream there. Very nice. Okay. Okay, we're already so powerful. Let's go up to some crazy round. Let's do round 150. Everything's getting a... What is doing the most damage? Due to the Storm has a lot. The Mortar Monkey's pretty bad. The Mortar Monkey is not as good as I was hoping for it to be. Heli Pilot, 5 million on that. Beast Handler, 100,000. The Dart Monkeys are doing pretty well. 5 million on the monkey buccaneer. That's amazing. The spike factory. Wait, that's... Oh, that's the tax shooter. Tax shooter, not that great. None of these are that impressive so far. We're around 150. Using only middle path towers that have automatic abilities. 9 million pops on the pirate lord. 9 million. The pirate lord is... Has more... Oh my gosh, he's like neck and neck. He's neck and neck with the anti-balloon gunner. Beast handler, 2 million pops. Let's see if it can beat round 200. I don't think so, though. No way, right? Come on, pop it! And... Uh, oh, it did! It popped one of them! Can it pop the second one, though? I don't think so. I don't think it will. It beat round 200! That's amazing. That's amazing. That, that settles it. There is no way you'd be able to beat round 200 with only middle path towers without this mod and without them being automatic. So that settles that, everyone.